So this device here is a 3-bit decoder. And so what we have is our outputs kind of along this axis, and right here are our inputs, right? So in, out, and that's these guys here. So the operation of this device is you'll feed a binary input here where this is our LSB and this is our most significant bit. We feed in a binary input here so in this case it's a 3-bit binary input and that corresponds to the number of the pin that you want to be a 1. So for example if I feed in a 0, 1, 1 what that's going to do is, well, if you convert this from binary to decimal, that is going to be a binary 3. And so that means that pin number 3 is going to be a 1. And all the rest of these pins will be a 0. So that, that's the basic operation, or I guess I shouldn't say basic. That is how decoders operate. Sometimes decoders might have some extra features to them, but for our intents, we're just going to say we have this basic input and output relation. So just one more example. Let's say we have 101. So this is going to be a 4 plus a 1, which is 5. So that means that 5 is going to be 1, and everything else is going to be a 0. So there's lots of uh, uses for this device, but the one that I want to explore is using it for uh, implementing, uh, implementing digital logic circuits. So let's kind of start working through this. Let's say we had the function, uh, we'll write it over here, f equals a prime b c or a prime b c prime. So let's say that we've got uh, 2 is going to get hooked to a because remember these are our inputs and these are our outputs. That's that's the way this has to work. These have to be our inputs and these have to be our outputs. So we've got three possible inputs, right? A, B, and C. So we're just going to feed them right in this way. We're just going to connect them to our inputs here. And now let's think about this. When, when we're at this state right here, or A not B C. Um, what's going to happen is we're going to have a 0 here, a 1 here, and a 1 here. Or that means when we have this particular configuration, that means that this pin here will be a 1. So, uh, what we want to do if we want to implement this entire function is we need to add in an OR gate. In this case, there are two min terms, right? Min term one and min term two. So what we need to do is add in a two input OR gate. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw our OR gate right here. And so we know that the binary number that this min term is representing is the number 3. And this one is, well, we can just draw it out. We've got 0, 1, 0. Or we know that this is a decimal 2. So that means we have 2 and 3, pins 2 and 3 from our decoder that need to hook to this OR gate. So what I'm going to do is just draw a connection from here and draw a connection from here. And this is our F. So uh, you can do this for any uh, any uh, sum of products form, right? Uh, we've got all possible min terms represented on this axis here, and we can put any any set of inputs in here. 
The problem with using a decoder for this is these connections are actually, they'd have to be hardwired, and we'd have to have an OR gate that, well, we could potentially have up to a 7 or 8 input OR gate. Well, an 8 input OR gate wouldn't be very useful in this case, but. Um, so we have to have a, an extra OR gate that's attached to it, and we also have to uh, have things hardwired. So we're also going to look at doing this with multiplexers, and multiplexers, uh, they kind of do away with these problems.